Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here, and today I'm bringing you a Let's Play that I've waited for literally eight months to do, and I can't wait. Oh my god, we're going to be doing Sonic Mania Let's Play, and this was originally going to be a blind Let's Play, but due to a bunch of audio issues running through my first playthrough of the game, I didn't get to do a blind Let's Play entirely. I got to Hydro City Zone, and by that point, I had realized that a lot of my footage was, um... Well, you couldn't hear me talking, frankly, and no matter what, like, I have to set the audio for the game as low as it'll possibly go but to still pick up audio, but be as quiet as it can, just so you'll be able to hear me, and I have my microphone turned up as high as it'll go. This game's really loud. But with that said, we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Sonic Mania in Mania Mode, and we're going to be doing Sonic and Tails together, and I can't wait. This is going to be so fun. Welcome to Angel Island Zone, with a bunch of really, really cool looking egg robos. And what are they doing? Hey, what are they ripping out of the ground? Is that a time stone? Okay, just for the record, if it is a time stone, as of right now, I have no idea. Okay, I, I have no idea, so I'm just guessing. I don't know. So if it is, then I must be friggin' really, really lucky. I had a lot of that. I guess when Metal Sonic was gonna show up, it's really interesting. But, so yeah. We've already started, and we're going to rush through Green Hill Zone as fast as we can. Which isn't very fast, but I mean, we can pretend. We have access to the Drop Dash. We have access to... Quite a few interesting things. So hey, this light may look familiar to you. Well, the style might. So these are special stages for the game. And as you can see, I've already gotten kind of relatively far ahead in terms of the special stages. But these are used to unlock, um, you know, special extras, I assume. Um, as you run through the special stage, which is Blue Seer Zone, as we know if you're a longtime viewer. This is my favorite of the special stages. With a bunch of new layouts, too. And color schemes. But, like I said, when we get to the end of the zone, depending on if you collected all the blue spheres and all the rings, or just all the blue spheres, you get access to a um, bunch of different extra content. And at the end of the zone, you'll get either a silver or gold ring, respectively. Depending on how much you collected, what you got, you know. So on and so forth. So, yeah. This is pretty fun. Or, I, I'm really glad to see Blue Sphere come back. And hopefully I'll be able to get through this, uh... Maze this time. I hope so. But yeah, these are, um, basically the same thing as, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So if you're familiar with those stages, you shouldn't have much of a problem with these. They just look really, really great in high definition. Like, phenomenally good in high definition. Woo! Sorry to got those. I mean, I just need to get this one. Woo! I am going insanely fast. But if you get all the rings and all the blue series, you get a gold medal. Pretty neat! Oh, this is also going to be a live commentary as opposed to a post one, so... I'm going to keep my deaths in. Um... As many or few as there are. Um, also, if you remember from my... Sonic 3 and Knuckles Complete Let's Play... You had the ability to use Tails in single player mode. Well, you have the ability to use Tails in single player mode. Also, making a return here are all three of the elemental shields, which many Sonic fans have been absolutely ecstatic over because these were some of the best parts of Sonic 3. Everyone loved these things. They were so good. But... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
As you can see, we're just running through Green Hill Zone. Things look a little bit different. Not entirely different, but they do look a little different. And I'm just going to keep to the higher routes. I wonder. What's in here? Uh, a lot of this I also have uh, not explored before. I've only explored a little bit. We need to find a giant ring. Because that's how we get the special stage in this game, with the giant rings. Like from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It really took a lot from my favorite game in the series. Which I'm just ecstatic over. Also, the jumping animation from Sonic or er, from Sonic CD. Oh, oh crap. Oh well. So this is the first boss that we're gonna come into. It's much different from the uh <laughs> It's much different from the regular Green Hill Zone boss, isn't it? But I kinda cheesed him since I had invincibility to power up. But it's a lot different than you would expect. They did a whole bunch of new bosses, and they even revamped some of the old bosses for this game that I've encountered so far. And they all are really, really fun to play against. Um, I do feel like some of them have a little bit of cheapness to them, but overall, they're still really, really fun to play. I, I am thoroughly impressed with the work gone into this game. Mod. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with the work gone into this game, because it's not a mod. Which, honest to god, kind of shocks me, because it really feels like it's got the dedication of a mod, as opposed to a game. Like, there's a lot of polish in this. It is just phenomenal. Like, oh, wow, Christian Whitehead, you and your team should be incredibly proud of the work you've done here. Sonic, welcome back. We have missed you. Also, for the record, that jump, just so cool. So, as you can tell, Act 2 of Green Hill Zone looks really different. Well, if you're not used to it, that is. Also, see that ring? That is our special stage. And the special stages are very reminiscent of, a uh, Sonic CD. <laughs> Come on, Tails. Pick me up. I need to fly. I need to get up there and get that special stage. I wonder, do I need to go up here? No, I need to go down here somewhere. Come on, Tails. So, um, the controls for flying are a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. They feel a little weird. But they work really well. Honestly, a lot better than the other, um, than the mod that I played. Because if you go and watch that, you can tell I had a lot of issues with getting Tails to work. But this one, uh, I have a few, but not as many. It's it's very easy to get him to do what you want, or easier compared to other experiences that I've had. So these are the special stages, and the object of which are to collect all the tiny blue spheres to get to Mach 3. That is the fastest Sonic can go. And once you get to Mach 3... Once you get to Mach 3, I, I, I really, really probably shouldn't have done that. But once you get to Mach 3, you're moving as fast as you can. And you have to chase down the UFO and collect the uh, Chaos Emerald that is pulling. Now, the time limit that you have is very similar to the supersonic mechanic in every Sonic game that lets you use supersonic. Where he, um, he burns rings as his time limit. So the more rings you have, the longer you can go for. The less rings you have, the shorter distance you can go. Or the last thing you have, the uh, shorter time you have. Once you reach Mach 3, that's the fastest you can go that I've found so far. Because every time you fill up the Mach meter after that, it just gives you a Mach bonus. So I think Mach 3 is as fast as you can go. And once you hit Mach 3, all you have to do is just chase him down. Once you get within range, it automatically gets the Chaos Emerald. And you have to get all seven. You don't need any ring count to enter it. You just need to find the special stage to get to it, and you can get the Chaos Emerald. It's very simple, very easy. But you should know that if you've seen my review of the game, which I'm hopefully should be out already. If it's not, there was probably a delay. But I am doing a review of this, which 
we'll take... I'm doing a review of this before I uh, do a Let's Play of it, just to give you a basic idea of the game. And I definitely, if you did, if I didn't already say it there, I definitely recommend it now. You need to buy this game. It is great. There's no other game where you can just set bridges on fire like that. Well, there's probably a lot of games where you can set bridges on fire like that. But it's really fun to do it as a Sonic game, especially with an elemental shield. You bitch! Wee. Oh, my voice cracked. I'm already up to seven lives? Jeez. Seriously? Seriously? Come on, brah. What do these blue rings do? I still haven't figured out what those blue rings do, and I kind of really want to know. My ability to spin dash has been hampered. And now we come to the second boss, and these acts are split into two acts, so this will be the last act for the episode. Next episode, we'll be taking on... Um... I don't remember which zone's next, but we'll be taking on whichever zone next. I think it's Chemical Plant Zone. So yeah, there's that you have to look forward to. Also, I don't know why I didn't take damage from him stepping on me. But, um, he's really not that hard to beat. Honestly, you just need to be able to make it over his arms and you're good. Which you can even do it at standing height. You just need to be careful and make sure you get the most height out of your jump by holding down the button as long as you can. Really easy, really simple. But with that, guys, I will catch you in the next episode when we race through Chemical Plant Zone. Until then, peace.